I remember it as if it were yesterday. Dr. Luke, you have asked me, you have invited yourself into my home to give an account of what I saw that starry night. It was many years ago, but yet it's as if it was yesterday. And as I can remember it as I can remember talking to you right now. There were shepherds in the field keeping their eye on the sheep, their lambs. It was a quiet night except for the wrestling in the town of Bethlehem off in the distance. And there was a bustle of people in that town that day trying to find a place to stay. The emperor had called a census and everyone had to go to the, the town of their lineage. And Bethlehem was the birthplace of King David. I was on watch. I was a young man at the time. This was so many years ago. I was a young man at the time. And, you know, everyone had fallen asleep but myself. I was awake. I could not sleep for some reason. I was counting stars and even that didn't put me to sleep. Even counting sheep failed to do that. But what I saw that night has to be written down. And Dr. Luke, you are the man that can do this. That night the, star, the stars filled the sky as if somebody had thrown a, a million diamonds into the sky and it was bright and there was a light illuminating the town of Bethlehem off in the distance. The only sound was the occasional bark of a dog, and the full moon was rising on the eastern horizon. I saw something very interesting on the horizon. There were a man uh, pulling a donkey that, which seemed to have two riders on it. And as I blinked my eyes and looked at my other companions to see if they were awake to see this, I looked up and they were gone off the horizon. I never thought much of it till I don't know how much time had passed by the time the moon had risen above the horizon. Um, I had almost forgotten about that trio on the hill. But Bethlehem was asleep and there was no room for anyone to find lodging and I just assumed that these two or three people who had come could not find lodging and so they found lodging out in the fields with the sheep. And not thinking much of it until all of a sudden the sky burst, exploded with angelic voices the voices were clear. Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth. Goodwill toward men. And we were, before that, the, there was a man standing in front of us. And he was frightening. It, it woke up everyone. And we had our faces pinned to the ground. Our nose was sniffing dust. And you know what this man said? He said, don't be afraid. I bring you good tidings of great joy. For unto you this day is born in the city of Bethlehem a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And I just... And all of a sudden he was gone. But a host of heavenly angels burst forth in song, Glory to God in the highest, Peace on earth and goodwill toward men. Goodwill toward men. A savior in this time? Yes, we need a savior. Romans had us by the throat. A tax us to death. 
children go without food, the sick, the lame, sit in the streets while the religious body, the pillars of our society, walk by them. And if it's a Sabbath, <laughs> you'll never get any help. Because that would be working on the Sabbath. But that night, I will not forget. So, 